Blessed love to each and everyone. We are very thankful for your presence with us on a wonderful evening. We glorify the life given the keep of life, Emperor Haile Selassie the first in all doings and sayings. Of course, you know, we welcome you into the tiger's nest for somewhat of a, a evening of short meditation. In fact, we are actually preparing ourselves for the lecture this evening with the Honorable Priest Kailash Leons, which will be basically in an hour or so. And um, definitely he will be going into the healthy living as it relates to both male and female. But we are gonna have an after Sabbath meditation and we decided to sit and sup with you for a moment in fact we would have shown the initiates exactly how to prepare their chalice and how to really venture into, you know, partaking of such. So we have our chalice here ready to go. And we are going to show you exactly how we put it together and really the whole process as it relates to even partaking. Now, let me just highlight for you that we will be having a very special uh, lecture directly on the 27th day. That's the 27th day of, of this month being March. A special online lecture entitled the mystery of the holy grail the chalice because you see the chalice is really the holy grail that is spoken of in the scripture so we'll be going into that that's in about three strongs from now that's just going into the ceiling up of the length and that is going to be a massive presentation i'm really hoping that you can join us that will be online though that will be an online lecture specifically and uh, of course tickets will be available and we'll be giving you more information as that time comes around but please look forward to that what we're going to do this evening as i said i'm just going to show you how we prepare the cup cause I know that some of you are looking forward to and some of you have already ordered your special chalice, your coconut and bamboo chalice is made from the coconut and bamboo and of course the kochi is made from the clay, you know, no rubber holes here, no glass bottle here, no, no, no funny material here everything fully all natural and these chalices were prepared by brother Mehdi and as I said sometime in, in the future in one of these chalice sit downs these this uh, chalice talk we will show you how brother Mehdi actually puts the chalice together but for now you could order the chalice directly from us we would be the distributors for such of course you know how to contact me it's priest Isaac 27 at gmail.com if it doesn't go through maybe you send it to the wrong email it's p-r-i-e-s-t-i-s -E two a's and a c 27 at gmail.com and your chalice will be shipped to you wherever you are on the planet now of course we have our ganja here or marijuana it has already been uh, sewed up that's a term we use we say we sew up the herb so as Bobo Shanti, we do not really cut up the herb with scissors. We use our hands. I personally use my hand and broke this down fine enough so it can be consumed with the fire properly. Uh, of course, you know, there sometimes the herb is very gummy, very thick and, 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 and sticky. And even if you use the scissors, all you get is cubes. You cut it, it it's two, four, eight, sixteen. You gotta cut and cut. But you can also use a knife. As Bobo Shanti, we use the knife as well. But when you use a knife and you, you cut it on the board, you should cut in one direction. Either you're going forward or you're going back. It's just up to you. It's not forward, back, no. It's one direction or the other. But personally, I prefer, I've been doing it for years to soak the herb. 
just with my hand. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to gauge the chalice so you can see how the chalice is gauged. Meaning that obviously the, you need water inside of the cup so it can bubble. Now, this is water that you would drink. So you don't want no water that you would drink. So whatever you drink, that's what you put in the chalice. So in other words, if you don't drink tap water, you shouldn't put tap water in the chalice. Nonetheless, your tap water is coming from a source that's drinkable. So whatever you drink and consume as water should be the same thing you put in the chalice, nothing less. So we're gauging the pipe now. If you notice, you hear a little blah, 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 blah. So, so you do not gauge it with a, as if you have a measuring stick. You have to listen to the sound. This is something you get accustomed to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue to bubble it while I'm throwing the water in. Listen good. So if you notice now, the bubbling is getting heavy. Maybe you could take a drop or two more. And then we have perfection. See now, this area, the coconut is known as the ball. This is the shank. But there's another piece of the apparatus here, which is another piece of bamboo that is put into this. That is actually referred to as the bubbler. So once you do that, you block the, the breed hole. This is the breed hole here. And you put your hand at the top of the bubbler. And you're looking now for compression. Hmm good compression, meaning that there's no leakage. You don't want no leakage in your chalice. You should not be doing this. And there's wind going in several holes. No. Perfect compression. Perfect, perfect compression. Good. Now, I just rest that down for a moment. And then we return to the kachi now. What I've done, I've wrapped a, a piece of uh, paper towel around the kachi. Uh, one may use something a little more natural, for example, the corn, the corn husks, or maybe the fig leaf. You just dip the dry fig leaf, banana leaf I'm speaking of, or any broad enough leaf. Use some water and moisturize it, then you can wrap it around the kachi, and I'll show you why that is done in a moment. So we have the, the cannabis sativa, the tree of life. And as I said, the kachi. And all we do, we pack the kachi. Now, before you pack the kachi, there is inside of the kachi something known as a gritty. Now, the gritty also helps to filter, you know, also the herb. So it doesn't just go into the ball. Now, you could use for the gritty, many people use a stone. Traditionally, as Boba Shanti, we would use a nutmeg, also known as a nutmeg. And at times, personally, I would use a, a precious stone, like a quartz or something of the sort. So you put the gritty in, and uh, it must be put in a way that it doesn't block the hole. Because when you draw the chalice, you want freedom. It is, it is supposed to be as if you're taking a breath. Good. So we pack the herb into the cup. Watch good, because I know some of you would have, will be ordering your chalice, and some of you will be burning the chalice for the very first time. Because at least it gives you a good understanding. This is not the bomb now. So it's packed. <clears throat> the herb is there. So the first thing I will do is to make sure the compression is good again. Make sure there's no crack in the cut or anything. Hmm, perfect. You actually, I could actually feel the palm of my hand being pulled down because the compression is perfect. Now after I take that off, I pull again. And I'm supposed to get this free pull. Now it's free, but it could be a bit more uh, freer. I don't know if that's grammatically correct. So we take a piece of stock. This is a ganja stock. Put it at the back hole. And you just kind of push the, the gritty a little bit up. You 
heard about the singer known as Nitty Gritty. You put the gritty just a little bit up, just give it a little movement, all right? So now what that does, that allows a little freedom. Exactly, so it's a bit freer now going into the whole aspect of partaking of the chalice. So now that we have that freedom, because again, when you pull the chalice, it is supposed to be as if you were, you know, breathing. You don't want to be pulling the chalice and it's... No, it's supposed to be a freedom. So again, nice and free. You're supposed to feel it good. Now what we do, we get the chalice here and we place the cup into the chalice. The cup is really the altar. Eh? All right, perfect. And now what you have, eh, you have to keep in mind that although I showed you that you could wrap the, the um, fig leaf, the clean paper towel, or maybe the corn shock around the cup, when the cup is made perfect, as it relates to the bubbler, it will fit perfectly. And some people can make the chalice so perfect that the, the cup sticks perfectly in the bubbler. Now I would say that at least in my neck of the woods, the individual that creates the chalice is not the same individual that goes and get the clay and make the cup. So it's actually two different people that I would have to go to to get both chalice and the cup so that it would align perfectly. So sometimes you do need that little assistance as it relates to just wrapping something around it. So the compression, remember, the compression is extremely important because when you are drawing the chalice, you do not want to be pulling no ear whatsoever. That's very important. The chalice is not supposed to be tight. Like if you're fighting with it, <laughs> no, it's supposed to be as if you're taking a breath. It's a breath exercise. And at the same time, although it's not tight, it's supposed to be free and no ear. Oh, perfect. This is perfect and ready to go. Now, so you already see how to put your chalice together. So this is basically, you could say, a class you could always refer to, especially those of you who will be ordering, ordering your chalwa. So now we are going to light it. Eh? Now, what we do, what I'm going to do, although it's not in the music, we'll still take a pause from the music just to express this in a better format. I said, love. So you say a prayer before you light the chalice because this is a holy thing. It is not recreation, it is recreation. So the whole process is a very scientific process. As I said, on the 27th day of March, interesting day, you know, we'll be having a, a, a wonderful online lecture. Though. That'll be an online lecture. That'll be our next upcoming online lecture. The mystery of the Holy Grail, the chalice, and we'll be going into the depths. I will be going in how to use it. That's why we're doing this now. But we'll be going into the, the mystery of the chalice and how it's related to the Christ and, and how it's related to recreation and everything. I'll be explaining clearly why we do not partake of the marijuana, the cannabis sativa, unless water is involved. Again, this is not recreation. This is recreation. Let's say a prayer, King Emmanuel the seven. Adonia, Baja, Rastafari, who glorifying pride is the first in all good doings and saying that Christ was in flesh. We're thankful for the tree of life provided. We thanks for the meditation and bless us as we partake of it. We're thankful for the hand that planted the herb and take it care of the herb and give thanks for the packing of the cup. All powers to the Father and Mother of creation, triple crown and all. Everyone near on about then 
reparative. So of course, you have your lighter here. What you will do is you just kind of, uh, what you want to um, not put the lighter directly on the cup. You would just want to make sure that the, if you want to say, pardon me, yes, just had a little outage there.